Mr. Sam, I understand you have a problem you need to solve. I do. What's, what problem is that? My dog keeps chewing on my couch. Oh, I, I was thinking kind of a mathematical problem. Oh, that one, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do. It's uh, it's x squared. X squared. Uh, plus 3x. Plus 3x. Equals, equals 8. 8. That's not an 8. Eight. Okay. That's an eight. Okay. So good. you'd like to solve that, and you don't want to do the quadratic I don't, formula. No, I, I mean I can do the quadratic formula. I learned it in algebra, but man, it takes a long time. Hey, we've got this really cool calculator thing. Oh. Uh, I bet we could use the calculator to solve that problem. Really? Yeah. So why don't we do that? Okay. Okay. Well, there's this really cool feature, Mr. Sam's, um, called your solver on your calculator. Okay. So what I want to use is I want to push the math button here, and then if I go up a, a tab, there's this uh, solver button, and I can then push enter here. Okay. Now, notice something though. We have a kind of a weird problem. Do you see the problem? It says equation zero equals zero what do equals. Do with that? Well, my equation is not equal to zero, but we can make that easily equal to zero. So let's do that. So you've got to do a little bit of math to do this, don't you? Yeah. All right. So how would I set this equal to okay, zero? Okay. Well, if I subtract eight from both sides, okay, then it's going to be equal to zero. that side is zero. So this actual equation would be x squared minus or plus, yeah. pardon me, three, three x. x minus eight equals zero. Yeah, perfect. So, so when I go on my calculator, guys, what I need to do is essentially just type that equation. So oh. here's the x button right there. Okay. So I'll say x squared. So I'm just going to type it like appears to the right there. Yep, plus. Plus 3x. Okay. And then be minus 8. That's it? Well, there's still another step. Oh, so okay. So I'm going to push enter. All right. Okay. And now it's got like this x equals. This is actually a place right here uh -huh. where you're going to make a guess. So what do you think the answer might be? Um, I don't know. How about two? Two. Okay, let's try two. We'll try two. And then the, that won't, that's not solving the problem because then you've got this little, um, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, it says solve. It wait, says wait. green. Oh, the green solve. Okay, so I don't click enter. No, no. You're going to push alpha. Okay. Solve. Alpha solve. And it thinks, and there's the answer. Okay. So the answer, x is actually equal to 1.7. Now, Come so on. the answer is 1.7. Now, remember, guys, if you've done the quadratic formula, um, there's actually two answers. It's b oh, squared it's minus right. 4ac, yeah. plus or minus. So this actually only gives you one answer. It's the answer closest to your guess, the okay. guess of two. So can we guess negative two and see what it gives us? Well, yeah, let's, let's try negative that. two. So I can type it. Don't forget, right, there's a difference between negative two, I uh, just clear that, uh, and two, or right. and, and some minus two. I All mean. right, so hit the negative sign and then two. Alpha solve. My other answer is That's negative, negative 4.7. All right, so negative 4.7 oh, is the other okay. answer. So that's how you do these problems. It's simply you just, but you have to set it equal to zero. Now that's a relatively easy problem. Okay. But we could actually do a much harder problem. Can you make up a harder problem for me? Um. Can really I, crazy. Can I do a cubic one? Sure. Or you, you could do a fourth order. Four x to the fourth. Okay. Minus three x cubed plus two x squared minus one equals zero. Oh, you've already set it equal to zero, so I that's going to make it a little easier on us. Because I'm awesome. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to arrow up. I get the equation. Okay. I air, push the arrow up to get there. Push clear. And now I'm just going to type that equation into my calculator. All right. 4x. Now this is a little caret button. This is the power of 4 minus 3x to the power of 3 plus 2x squared minus 1. Okay. And then I uh, push enter. I'm going to make a guess. Okay. It's best to make a decent guess. Let's just and choose. You got to clear that first? I can clear that. Yeah, thank you. Clear okay. that, and I'll choose five. I don't know. I have no idea. But it's going to guess and check until it finds an answer. And again, there might be multiple answers. Okay, you hit second. I push second? Alpha. No, oh, you don't yeah. want second. You want alpha. Then I push alpha. There we go. Solve. It's going to think for a while. Think, think, do, think. Do, 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 do. And x is equal to 0. 0.5. Seven two. That's no, going to be just one. One answer. of the answers, right? Yeah, there may be multiple answers. Okay. Uh, think about that mathematically. But this is a wonderful shortcut for solving mathematical problems on the solver of your calculator. Now, reminder: How do you get to the solver on your calculator? Let me kind of quit out of this. Where's the solver? Again, you push math. the math button. You arrow up, and you see right here the zero. Okay. That's it. All right. Cool. That's how you do it.